Much of this first half, the offenses were moving the ball, but just couldn't get into the end zone. This game really took a turn late in the half, off the turnover when Austin Mack pitched. Ah, damn it. Okay. You were great, Dwayne, too, by the way. <laughs> it's only the first, second, third, fourth time I've done that, fifth time I've done that this season. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Check that. I can imagine. <laughs> okay. You got this, man. Mm. You got this. I got one take. I'm going to the airport. The first half of this game was low scoring, but not because the offenses couldn't move the ball. They could. They just couldn't find the end zone. A lot changed. Really, the tide turned in this game late in the first half, Dwayne. Off the turnover, the interception, Cody Fajardo and Austin Mack got to work. And we didn't even know Mack would be back on the field at that point in time after he was hit. Yeah, well, Mack had just taken the, a big hit coming across the middle. He had a, a crossing route. Stavros Katsitonis steps into him and absolutely flattens him. I watched Austin Mack kind of wobble his way into the Alouette's change room. So when the Alouettes first huddle up, he's not even, he's not on the field. Comes running back into the huddle at the last minute. Lines up just in time to catch that touchdown pass late in the first half. Much like the way he sparked the Alouette season, quite frankly, early on. He sparked their offense in this football game, coming up with a big play, the first touchdown of the game. They really started to open things up for Montreal. Very impressive debut season in the CFL and playoff debut as well. Here he is with Matthew Shinetti. Austin, I don't know necessarily if you would have scripted it out, walking out of the locker room and then right onto the field and scoring a touchdown. But take us through that entire sequence. How are you feeling and mentally, how quick did you have to snap back and be ready? Oh, I'm good, man. I got hit pretty good. Uh, play right before. Um, we can see it on your forehead. <laughs> the doctors upstairs wanted to take a look at me, so I had to go in. Man, I was telling the, I was telling the doc, I said, hey, I'm good, I'm good. Let me get out there. Uh, Greg Ellingson came in and said, hey, Mac, there's somebody down. You got time to get back out there? And I said, hey, let's go. And uh, lo and behold, it was a play that was actually scripted right out for me, man. Uh, made a really good release, and Cody laid it up right for me. One thing Cody was telling us this week is he wanted to build a relationship with someone like you who had a hard time going ahead and finding his place at Ohio State, also with Sneed and trying to justify his height with his talent. What have you learned about Cody Fajardo, someone who considers being in Montreal his second chance? Yeah, man, he's just resilient. And he's a guy that, that you know, embodies this team he's a blue collar guy he's gonna work his ass off good or bad high or low he's always gonna have a smile on his face he's gonna come to work you know all about winning culture from where you play college now you're gonna be part of a team that's going to a, to a, to a division final how significant is this week gonna be oh this is huge this is these are the games that you want to win and be a part of and to be a part of this locker room I'm extremely excited ready to get back to work and, and head over here to Toronto thanks Austin hey thank you that Austin Mack touchdown made possible by the interception by Darnell Sankey, who was a mid-season ad by the Montreal Alouettes at middle linebacker. And what a game he had with the tackles, with the pick, with the quarterback sacks as well. Yeah, Sankey was absolutely everywhere in this football game. A guy who joined the Alouettes down the stretch, played the, the last six regular season games of the season for them. But I thought this was his biggest. Came up with the interception, as you said, on a tipped ball late in the first half. That set up the Austin Mack touchdown. Came up with a big sack in the second half. Just a real leader, a veteran guy, a presence, and a playmaker. He, along with Sean Lemon, when you look at sort of the midseason ads for this team, Lemon coming in after the first third, Sankey coming in after two-thirds. They were much of the game story for, for the Montreal Alouettes in this ballgame. And now as we look ahead to the Eastern Final, you have to consider something you talked about. That's the Alouettes' records against team, teams ahead of them in the standings versus beneath them. Perfect against teams below them but no wins against teams above them, including the Toronto Argonauts. They were 0-3 against the Argos. They're going to see if they can break that trend. And the Eastern Final next week at BMO Field, as we say so long, from Molson Stadium in Montreal.